questions, and, it, and it's something that I think is best addressed early on, is what do you feed? What do I put in my bucket? What I try to do is work within their diet and something that I feel like I can feed readily, I'm not gonna worry about, and it is not going to be harmful for their diet or chase or you know move their glycemic levels through the chart or just be, you know, creating obesity because even low sugar treats can can create problems for some horses are rather they can be a little checked out and a little like you know i'm just not really interested in eating your food and so for those i will start with a higher value food um, but for some horses right out of the chute they're a little too much and i'm going to start with something that's a lower value feed if in the beginning they are not very good about uh you know they're kind of meh about the food and you start working through it pretty soon, period, they start to go, I'm way more interested because when positive reinforcement is done correctly, it's not all about the food. So it becomes where it's not really the food, it is, it is the game we're playing. The food always serves a purpose, a point in there. The benefit of whatever we're doing it is when we're doing the positive reinforcement, we're hand feeding, we're doling it out, parsing it out in smaller, well, they're, they could be a big handful, but it's still not a giant mouthful. If I have a horse who's a little bit more uh, prone to, to choking than what I will do on anything, because a lot of times those horses are, what I will do is mix a little bit of the senior in with the hay pellets. So it's not a lot of senior, just a little, but what the senior tends to do is produce more, uh, it, it dissolves very quickly. It makes them salivate, which makes water in the mouth. And that is, it helps produce the water, which keeps the things moving through. I love senior for riding because if they pack it in their cheeks and we're moving on, I know that it's dissolving right off the bat. That's what it's made to do. So utilizing the senior for under saddle is something I quite like. If they get to moving on and they didn't finish chewing it, if they packed it in their cheek, it's not a chunk of carrot, you know, that's going to get lodged in their throat or something. And another thing that I do with Henley is I make up her food for the day. And a lot of times I will take part of her food for the day and use it in the training sessions. So I may add hay pellets to it, but I can take part of her, her feed, which is, you know, supplying nutrients for her. I can take part of that and supplement it with the, the hay pellets, but it is, it is keeping again within a certain dietary guidelines. I have in here basically assortment of, of low starch, low carb feed. These are actually a high value, higher sugar treat. I just have a small handful of those thrown in. And these are the Cavalier Crunchies, which are a very, um, a lot of fiber in them. I'm going to throw some carrots, some chopped up carrots and, um, some of these treats, but it's just a handful. It's not very many. One other thing I'll add in there, let's say I'm working on something really, really challenging. I will save the higher value treats, or I might ramp it up and put the ratio a little higher on the higher value treats when I know I'm working the difficult things so that I have the potential to reinforce them, uh, make a bigger impact when the reinforcement, when I don't wanna stay at that level, cause that's not, that shouldn't be how the training needs to go. But when I have really challenging pieces, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm here with Tulip and I'm gonna show you what's in my bucket. So when we do clicker training, I've got Buckeye treats, beet treats, and some crunchies. Tulip. There you go, and Tulip is a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sebastian. Sebastian's one of our eager beavers. So I, work on everything being slower with him as well as relaxed. I'm always looking for him to move slowly <laughs> to be as relaxed as he possibly can. For him, relax looks a little different. He's always kind of gonna be a busy body. So I also help myself out by giving him food that's just a little less interesting. It takes him a longer time to chew, but I do add some higher value in there. So today I'm using some Buckeye treats, which are just a little bit drier. And I sliced up some small carrots in there so it's still yummy and doesn't make him cough or anything. Good boy. All right.
right, you guys. I hope that helps you out and gave you perhaps a little clarity. All right, bye for now.